Halo, the sport and laser. If you've played the games in the Halo series, then you probably have had the opportunity to use a sport and laser. You might have even watched the great breakdown that Installation 00 created for all of us to watch on YouTube. But if you happen to be like me, you've probably been wondering whether the sport and laser could be created using modern technology, which prompted me to make this video. This is Grimsdale Gaming, but you can call me Grim, and today we will be answering the following questions. What is the spot and laser? Can modern technology replicate the spot and laser, and would a real life spot and laser be practical? Timestamps available for those that want to skip around. Sources, as always, are available in the description below. Part 1. What is the Spot and Laser? If you haven't seen Installation 00's fantastic breakdown of the Spot and Laser, I highly recommend you check out Mr. Zero Zero's video first. The Spot and Laser, also known as the M6 Grindel and the Galilea Nonlinear Rifle, is the UNSC's ground-based man-portable anti-vehicle directed energy weapon. It is one of two known battery-powered UNSC weapons, with the other being the Model 99 Special Application Scoped Rifle. It is one of the only weapons which can directly penetrate and destroy enemy vehicles. The weapon is equipped with a laser sight that is activated when the trigger is pulled to assist with aiming. The sport and laser can shoot up to five times on its available battery capacity, with each shot draining 20-25% charge. The targeting laser is also highly likely to give away the operator's position prior to firing as the process takes 3 seconds to fire and 2-4 to four seconds to cool down. The sport and laser is the most expensive weapon, as it costs the equivalent of 4 warthogs or 7,266 fragmentation grenades. The sport and laser is also the most powerful weapon in any of the Halo games, aside from the equipable Scarab Gun in Halo 2. Part 2 Can Modern Technology Replicate the Spot and Laser? Modern Laser Gun Technology, a subset of the Directed Energy Weapons category, have come a long way in the modern age. A directed energy weapon is a ranged weapon that damages its target with highly focused energy, including microwaves, lasers, particle beams, plasma and sonic weapons. Potential applications of this technology include weapons that target personnel, missiles, vehicles and optical devices. Of the types of directed energy weapons discussed, only microwaves, lasers, plasma and sonic weapons have been created with particle beam weapons being only theoretically possible, although not yet achieved. Microwave weapons fire wave frequencies aimed at incapacitating people, vehicles, aircraft and any other imposing threat. Although not considered to be lethal in most cases, the effects of these weapons have not been studied for long-term health impacts. Particle beam weapons can use charged or neutral particles and can either be endoatmospheric or exoatmospheric. Particle beams as beam weapons are theoretically possible, but practical weapons have not been demonstrated yet. Certain types of particle beams have the advantage of being self-focusing in the atmosphere, however blooming is a problem in particle beam weapons. Energy that would otherwise be focused on the target spreads out and the beam becomes far less effective. Plasma weapons fire a beam bolt or stream of plasma which is an excited state of matter consisting of atomic electrons and nuclei and free electrons if ionized or other particles if pinched. The Marauder, magnetically accelerated ring to achieve ultra-high directed energy and radiation, used the Shiva Star Project, a high energy capacitor bank which provided the means to test weapons and other devices requiring brief and extremely large amounts of energy to accelerate a toroid of plasma at a significant percentage of the speed of light. Sonic weapons are used to disrupt or destroy the eardrums of a target and cause severe pain or disorientation which will usually incapacitate a person. 
Less powerful sound waves can cause humans to experience nausea and discomfort and are used in special operations or crowd control operations. Finally, laser weapons are directed energy weapons based on highly concentrated high capacity lasers. After decades of research and development as of January 2020, Directed energy weapons, including lasers, are still at the experimental stage and it remains to be seen if or when they will be deployed as practical high-performance military weapons. Obviously, modern laser weapons operate like spot and lasers, but also, to a much lesser extent, the plasma weapons. Sticking with what the spot and laser is, a laser weapon, there are three main types of laser weapons currently, including electrolasers, pulsed energy projectiles, and dazzlers. All three of these weapons serve a different purpose in regards to their usage and operations. An electrolaser is a type of electroshock weapon that is also a directed energy weapon. It uses lasers to form an electrically conductive laser-induced plasma channel. A fraction of a second later, a powerful electric current is set down this plasma channel and delivered to the target, thus functioning overall as a large-scale, high-energy, long-distance version of the Taser electroshock gun, and in theory, a Spartan laser. Alternating current is sent through a series of step-up transformers, increasing the voltage and decreasing the current. The final voltage may be between 108 and 109 volts. This current is fed into the plasma channel created by the laser beam to hit its target. A pulsed energy projectile, or a PEP, is a technology of non-lethal weaponry. The US military is developing PEPs using an invisible laser pulse which ablates the target's surface and creates a small amount of exploding plasma. This produces a pressure wave that stuns the target and electromagnetic radiation that affects nerve cells causing a painful sensation. Pulsed energy projectiles can be used as lethal weapon. The pulsed energy projectile is intended for riot control and is said to work over distances of 2 kilometers weighing approximately 230 kilograms and can be mounted on vehicles. A dazzler is a directed energy weapon intended to temporarily blind or disorient its target with intense directed radiation. Targets can include sensors or human vision. Dazzlers emit infrared or invisible light against various electronic sensors and visible light against humans when they are intended to cause no long-term damage to the eyes. The emitters are usually lasers, making what is termed a laser dazzler. Most of the contemporary systems are man-portable and operate neither the red, a laser diode, or green, a diode-pumped solid-state laser. Initially, Dazzlers were developed for military use, but non-military products are becoming available for use in law enforcement and security. Of the three types of laser weapons discussed, the weapon that would most likely lead to the spot and laser in the future is the electrolaser. Based upon my own research at present time, a battery-powered electrolaser capable of being equipped directly by infantry over the shoulder is not currently possible. These systems will continue to get more powerful and compact as time goes on. Modern electrolasers behave like the spawn laser, albeit less powerful, and they are way larger. Based upon everything discussed, the Spartan laser is within possibility, but is not currently possible with the technology of today. Don't forget, though, that computers used to fill an entire room to perform the same functions as a modern-day handheld calculator now does. Technology has really come a long way since then. Port 3 Would a real-life Spartan laser be practical? Would a sport and laser be practical in real life? Well, my short answer is no. At least not in the way that Halo, the Halo series has utilized it. Deploying a single military member with the sport and laser toward the back of a group of soldiers would be more practical than handing it to someone on the front line. It is also not practical for use as a portable weapon due to the delay required while firing it, 
and the subsequent cooldown required after taking a shot. Not to mention that you can only fire between 4 to 5 shots. Based upon the current technology and the current capacity of batteries, an alternating current powered weapon on land or a vehicle mounted high capacity battery powered weapon seems to make a lot more sense than the in game Halo Spartan Laser. While the Spartan Laser is a cool concept and fun to utilize in the game setting of Halo, it seems like more of an anti vehicle and anti aircraft novelty than a useful weapon. Until modern day technology catches up, we won't know the real life usefulness of the Spartan Laser. This has been Grimsdale Gaming. Thank you for listening. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And remember, stay shocked.